Many people dream of having a perfect wedding filled with family, friends, and ungodly amounts of cake. But not everyone shares that vision, and some will go the extra mile to celebrate their big day in outrageous style. No matter what kind of wedding you have, you can always bet the photographer will capture every embarrassing detail on tape. From strange ceremonies to utterly epic fails, let's open this photo album and flick through some of the craziest wedding photos and their truly bizarre backstories. Priest Bot Up first, we have this weird wedding photo taken in Tokyo back in 2010. The groom looked handsome and his bride was dazzling in white, but all eyes at this wedding were focused on the unusual little robot priest between them. The four-foot-tall automaton, complete with plastic pigtails and colorful flashing eyes, is called Eye Fairy. Usually, this mechanical creature can be found serving as an automated help desk. However, its developer's Kokoro company lent the $70,000 Android out to Satoke Inoue and Tomohiro Shibata to officiate their special occasion. The happy couple were delighted as they both worked in the robotics industry and wanted to be married in the world's first robot-led ceremony. Loaded with a new program and a flower crown, iFairy pronounced them husband and wife. Aside from the incredibly creepy, childlike voice that thing emitted, the whole ceremony went off without a glitch. Love you to death! This next couple really took the till death to us part section of their vows literally. For their wedding photo shoot in 2015, Jenny Tay and Darren Chang from Singapore decided to include a bright white casket in all their shots. The pair posed about the coffin while oozing deadly amounts of glamour, but most people couldn't see past the bizarrely macabre setup. However, it turns out Jenny and Darren were dead set on this theme for a good reason, because they both work as funeral directors. This tongue-in-cheek twist on their traditional shoot eloquently ties their work and love life all into one, even if it does look like something straight out of the Adams family. Personally, I think we should change up the traditional wedding vow spiel to get rid of that dark undertone. How about something like, uh, ahem. I, be amazed, promise to provide you with content from this day forward, for better, for worse, for facts, and for stories, to like and to subscribe according to YouTube's holy law. If you want to say I do, just hit those like and subscribe buttons, and you'll make me the happiest channel on YouTube. Cream Puff Costume The resplendent perfection of some bridal gowns can make wedding guests stare and gasp with delight. But the gown that Ukrainian pastry chef Valentine Stefano made for his fiancée back in 2006 made jaws drop for a very different reason. Over the course of two months, Valentine constructed this dress made out of 1,500 cream puffs which he baked himself by hand and attached to a wedding dress frame. When his wife Victoria emerged at their wedding reception, she was laden in 20 pounds of pastry perfection and sported accessories made entirely from caramelized sugar. Plus, I'll bet the couple saved money on forking out for an expensive wedding cake. Wedding Rashers what all-important wedding element guarantees a lifetime of marital bliss? Well, if you're Adrian Duvon and Eddie Quinone, the answer is bacon. Back in 2013, this pork-passionate pair won a contest to be married during San Diego's Big Bite Bacon Festival. As you can see, the event went full ham on the details, with bacon pinned to the cake, an aisle printed with rashers, and bouquets made of bacon rolls. While I don't think there were any vegan options available, there was definitely some questionable taste in the dress code. Taco Wedding Bells At first glance, this picture looks like any other hallmark moment of two souls bonding in matrimony, but some of you might have noticed that the background decoration looks oddly familiar. That's because those aren't just wedding bells, they're taco bells. The bride and groom, Dan Rickard and Bianca Monda, won the Tex-Mex Chain's Love and Tacos contest for the ultimate Taco Bell-themed wedding. The gut-busting event included a bridal bouquet made entirely out of sauce packets, a gigantic Cinnabon cake, and of course, a Taco Bell wedding breakfast. I wonder if they got the complimentary diarrhea as well. Clowning Around 
When Manda Alexander was celebrating her one-year anniversary to her husband, Vincent, in 2018, he surprised her with a gift that left her speechless, but not in a good way. For their paper anniversary, Vincent gave Manda a photo she hadn't seen from their wedding day, but the picture revealed a creepy killer clown that had been secretly lurking behind them the whole time. It turned out Vincent had been planning this year-long prank after Manda shot down his initial request to have a clown at their wedding, so he hatched a secret plan to have his brother dress up as a clown and sneakily pose in their wedding photos. While Manda saw the funny side of it, I'm not sure it's a shot she'll be hanging up for the world to see. Lockdown Lovers Thanks to the lockdown laws imposed in 2020, weddings around the world have been cancelled or rescheduled, leaving many love-struck couples in the lurch. But life-saving restrictions weren't enough to stop this South African couple, who were so determined to have their dream wedding that they brazenly flouted lockdown rules to make it happen. Despite the global pandemic, they invited more than 50 people to the ceremony, cramming many of them into a tiny gazebo without any kind of masks or protection. With all the commotion, it wasn't long before the police were called, who then quickly stepped in and arrested all of them, including the officiating pastor. Crowds watched on as the groom tenderly helped his not-quite-bride into the back of a police van. I hope they enjoy their honeymoon behind bars. Notorious Nauhoon Around the world, playing pranks and poking fun at the bride and groom-to-be before they get married is considered harmless fun. However, these images from Chinese weddings show that sometimes the fun goes way too far. Back in 2016, famous Chinese actress Liu Yan was pictured clinging onto other bridesmaids to avoid being hurled into a shallow pool. Throughout the day, the bridal party were relentlessly grabbed and grumped, while unsympathetic onlookers took photos. This kind of teasing is a tradition in China called Naohun, which means to cause turbulence at a wedding. But this turbulence can turn into blatant abuse, like this incident in Shenzhen where a groomsman pounded on the door to the bride's house with a sledgehammer, shattering the glass and injuring the terrified bridesmaids inside. Hey, who ordered that crazy Thor cosplayer to the wedding? Love you long time. Some people get married for love, others for money. But Maria Paraskeva got married to break a Guinness World Record. This bride from Cyprus achieved her lifelong dream of owning the longest wedding veil in history. At 22,843 feet long, the tulle fabric veil measured the same length as 63 and a half American football fields, after taking over three months to create. Once Maria was able to find a factory that was willing to provide her with all the tools she needed, she employed professional tailors to stitch all the pieces together by hand. It was obviously a lot of work, and it brought the full cost of the veil up to 4,000 euros, which would have just been over $4,500. And that's just on the veil. I dread to imagine how much her dress cost. But Maria isn't the only one to have a record-breaking wedding garment. A year before, in 2017, the French village of Cowdery, which is famous for its fine lace, pulled together to create the longest wedding train the world had ever seen, measuring in at a gargantuan 26,559 feet. The train was almost long enough to cover Mount Everest. But records like this aren't broken easily, and it took 15 volunteers two whole months to stitch everything together. With that much work, you could say this was a record attempt they've been training for. A holy occasion. If you were pierced head to toe in almost seven pounds of metallic jewelry, adding one more ring to the collection might not seem like a big deal. But for Elaine Davidson, the Guinness World Record title holder for most pierced woman in the world, there was one ring that couldn't have been more special. In 2011, she said I do to Douglas Watson, a retired civil servant, who, bizarrely, didn't have a single piercing on him. I think we can assume he had some very specific desires. Regardless, the ring Douglas gave her fit in between near 7,000 piercings she had at the time, which she has since increased to over 11,000. Lucky Douglas. While the pair couldn't have looked more different on their wedding day, her shining smile shows just how happy she really was. Although that might just be lens flare from the piercings in her face. It's a nice day for a mass wedding. 
Every couple wants their wedding to be unique, unless they're getting married under South Korea's Unification Church. In 2013, this church organized the mass wedding of over 3,500 couples from 70 different countries. While it may look like one hell of a party, there's a dark undertone to the entire affair. Because the Unification Church believes that self-interest is the root cause of all problems on Earth, mass weddings like this also double up as unbiased matchmaking ceremonies. In other words, many of these couples will have met for the first time just a few days before this huge and crazy ceremony. Never mind remembering the vows, some of these couples don't even remember each other's names. Love After Life they say that love knows no bounds, and in the strange case of TV producer Chattel Deffy, that includes death. After his girlfriend of 10 years, Anne Kamsuk, was tragically killed in a car accident, her funeral in Thailand doubled as the couple's wedding day. Clad head to toe in a mourning suit, the grief-stricken groom knelt by the side of his dead bride and slid a wedding ring onto her finger. As heartbreaking as this is, it's sort of ruined by the reportedly creepy details of Anne's attire. Apparently, someone put a garter on her leg for the strange ceremony. Was Chottle planning to take it off her and do the garter toss later? This is starting to feel like the non-PG version of the corpse bride. Objects of Desire To most people, this image just looks like another tourist taking a snap of the world-famous Eiffel Tower. What they don't know is that this is one of the weirdest wedding photos in existence. That's because in 2007, the woman in the picture, Erica Labrie, didn't just get married on the Eiffel Tower, she married the Eiffel Tower. Odd as it may sound, Erica identifies as someone with objectum sexuality, which means she's physically attracted to a variety of objects. So, while she was committed to the Eiffel Tower for over 10 years, she also had… Uh, strong feelings towards the Golden Gate Bridge. Unfortunately, because there are no rules around the marriage of inanimate objects, none of these truly class as affairs, which is lucky for her, as I think the Eiffel Tower would have kept the entire nation of France in that divorce settlement. Not now, Mom! It's always heartwarming to see a newlywed couple in the throes of their first dance together. Except these two aren't the bride and groom. Even though their foreheads are touching and the woman is wearing a white lace dress for the occasion, that is in fact the groom's mother. Reddit user Sinfu caught this unsettling snap on his niece's wedding day, who was left looking alone and dejected on the bench. The new monster, sorry, mother-in-law, then latched onto her son in an awkward hug from behind, as the bride's body language spoke volumes about the strange situation. Fortunately, Sinfu reports that the couple now live 1,000 miles away from the intolerable in-laws. But with attachment issues like that, they might want to think about getting a restraining order too, just to be on the safe side. Awkward Avatars Back in 2009, the release of James Cameron's groundbreaking film Avatar took the world by storm. Between the special effects of the bright blue Navi aliens and scenery inspired by the floating peaks of China's breathtaking Zhangjiajia Mountains, it completely captivated its Chinese audience. Unsurprisingly, exploitation experts decided to cash in on its sudden popularity by offering to host Avatar-themed weddings on the famous floating peaks. So, naive nuptial groups like these blushing brides were escorted up the mountainside to live out their alien fantasy wedding. But the fantasy fell horrendously flat, all thanks to the not-so-special effects of awkwardly posed <laughs> aliens in cheap masks and ill-fitting morph suits. They looked so bad that one bride who paid up for the package, Zhao Cao, went as far as to call them pathetic. Hopefully, these aliens understood the concept of a full refund. A perfect day. You know the story. Boy meets girl, they fall in love, get engaged, and get married in cat and mouse themed face paint. It's a tale as old as time, right? Well, the amazing photographs from this Russian wedding day document the last part of that unconventional story in full detail. From the groom collecting his cat-faced bride with a series of embarrassed-looking relatives in tow to posing for a few face-painted pics while signing the registry. They even got a photo next to their guests. Although from their faces, I'd say they look much more like hostages. 
They then decided to get a shot with their fancy-looking ride, which had a custom plate reading Kushka and Muska. Can you take a wild guess at what that translates to? Yup, it says cat and mouse. They really committed to the theme. Finally, they wrapped up their special day at their wedding reception, although it looks like they hired a reject from the village people to provide the entertainment. The Hollow Bride Looking at this photo, you might be mistaken for thinking that this Japanese groom is bringing a precious childhood toy down the aisle for his bride-to-be. That would have been a lovely sentiment, except that the toy is his bride. That's right, 35-year-old Akihiko Kondo lost interest in dating real women after being bullied by a female co-worker. However, he eventually found love in a fictional holographic character called Hatsune Miku. She's an anthropomorphic pop star for a voice synthesizing program called Vocaloid, and Kondo found solace in the many songs made for the virtual diva. Eventually, he fell hard for the holographic singer and announced his intentions to marry her on Twitter. But regrettably, being a hologram meant Miku couldn't attend her own wedding, so Kondo represented her with a doll instead. While the marriage isn't legally recognized, that didn't stop Kondo from dropping 2 million yen on the ceremony in Tokyo. That's almost $19,000. Would you ever spend that much money on a 2D character? Body Pillow Bride They say that true love takes many forms, and in the South Korean case of Lee jin Gyu, romance took the form of a giant body pillow. In case you're wondering exactly what's going on here, the then 28-year-old fell in love with his then Dakimakura, a sort of large, huggable pillow with an anime character printed on its side. In Lee's case, his beloved body pillow had an image of Fate Testarossa, a magical character from the anime series Mahu Shuju Lyrical Nanoha. But Lee became so obsessed with the pillow that he took it everywhere with him, from strapping it into rides at the fun fair to ordering it meals at restaurants. Then, in 2010, Lee romantically shoved the pillow into a wedding dress and married it in a special ceremony, conducted by a local priest. It may sound very official, but just like Akihiko Kondo's 2D conundrum, unions like this aren't recognized by law. Ironically, I think this pillow parable leaves most people feeling uncomfortable. Peer Pressure if there's one surefire way to tell that you've gone overboard with your wedding photos, it's if you actually end up in the water on your big day. In 2011, BuzzFeed contributor Dan Milano was snapping photos of his cousin's lakeside wedding when that very thing happened. With too many guests on the tiny pier, it suddenly broke and sank beneath the water, taking the party along with it. After the bride and bridesmaid slowly struggled out of the lake, the groom was given his first taste of married life. Poor John may be whipped already, but I hear the rest of the wedding reception went swimmingly. Chick Chick Hooray! Is there anything more romantic than ceremoniously releasing white doves on your wedding day? Well, how about releasing raw chickens instead? As bizarre as it looks, this isn't the only couple who elected to hurl plucked poultry into the sky on their wedding day. But from the grimace on that groom's face, it doesn't seem like he had much of a choice in the matter. While it may look like they mixed up the bride's bouquet with a chicken carcass, there's actually a whole tradition linked to this foul event. In the city of Kudus, Indonesia, chickens are ritually hurled off the Gilas Bridge when a couple get married. Customarily, this is to eliminate any mischievous effects that bad spirits, which inhabit the bridge, might have on the bridal party. Although that certainly sounds wacky enough to explain these photos, I don't see any bridges in either of the cheeky chicken shots. Could it really be that these couples were throwing raw chickens for good cluck? Let me know what you think down below. Arriving in Style Many blushing brides-to-be dream of making their own wedding entrance in serious style, be it in a horse-drawn carriage or classic car. However, more military-minded brides can opt for something with way more firepower, like the hilarious-looking tank limo. This voracious vehicle is a mix of two former British Army FV-432 tanks that have been welded together, giving more room inside to fit essentials like a champagne fridge. And just in case the wedding guests get a little too rowdy, there's a pair of assault rifles attached to the back door for good measure. I fear for the lives of the gatecrashers that try to ruin this bride's special day. 
Life-Size Love Love has many different layers, but in Chidi and Innocent Ogbute's love story, most of these layers were made of cake. This Texan couple decided to celebrate a renewal of their wedding vows by ordering a towering life-sized cake replica of Chidi. Made with over 200 eggs and over one and a half gallons of amaretto, the creepy custom-made cake tipped the scales at a staggering 400 pounds. Initially, there was also meant to be an accompanying cake made in the shape of Innocent. However, Chidi's replica took a phenomenal five weeks to construct, and the company ran out of time to bring its partner to life. But Innocent appears to have taken his frustration out on his cake bride. Just look at that smile creeping across his face as he stabs a knife into the replica of his wife. I guess he might not be so innocent after all. Gropey Groom some men just can't keep their hands to themselves. But when wandering hand syndrome struck Mather Amers on his wedding day back in 2018, it had some serious consequences. After a beautiful ceremony, Amers and his new wife were celebrating their reception at a country club in Pennsylvania when police suddenly burst onto the premises and arrested Amers on the spot. Having been married for just a matter of hours, Amers had shamelessly offered an underage waitress at the reception $100 to kiss him. When she said no, he then followed her into the bathroom, where he groped her and exposed himself. She managed to make a desperate escape, but Amers' escapades didn't stop there. He then started a drunken fight with one of the other staff members, and by the time the police arrived, he was trying to brawl with anyone in punching distance. He later pled guilty to charges of simple assault, indecent exposure, and disorderly conduct, receiving a total of six years probation for his reprehensible actions. But most shockingly of all, his humiliated wife Kayla remained by his side throughout the trial. Either that woman has nerves of steel, or she's got that handsy husband well under her thumb. Have you ever been to a wedding as strange as any of these? And do you have some hilarious matrimonial stories of your own to share? Let me know about them down in the comments, and thanks for watching.